Hi hey everyone, this is Jonathan at Colfax Math. I was just going to get started on a little bit of architectural drawing, kind of how to start a floor plan, how to extrude walls up, and then how to use components. So here we are, X, Y, Z going up. Before you do anything, you want to create a new document, make sure you're in feet and inches, title it, and save it. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to start with the general shape of my floor plan. Uh, I'm going to start in my lower left corner. I'm going to drag up and over. I'm going to make my house, say, 60 feet, comma, 32 feet. So I enter X first and then Y, and then I hit Enter. And there's a basic box that I'm going to work out of. 60 by 32, you know, a little over 1,800 square foot house, kind of a standard home. You do want to make uh, dimensions that are divisible by four because materials come in four foot by eight foot sheets. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna take and extrude it in. So here's my offset tool. So I wanna click on my shape and I wanna draw it in. Wall thickness is usually six inches. I've extruded, uh, I've offset that outside profile of six inches. It's a six inch wide wall, you use a two by four, and then um, that's three and a half, but you have siding, shear wall siding on the outside and sheet rock on the inside. And then here's my extrusion tool. I'm gonna I have to change my orientation a little bit. Click on that outside wall width, drag it up, and eight foot is a standard wall height. So there's my general box right there. And then next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put an interior wall in. I'm gonna use a tape measure. And this is really, you really don't wanna just start clicking anywhere. You always wanna do some sort of measurement. And really you should have a piece of paper and pencil in front of you with some sketches of what you're trying to design. I'm gonna just click here and then see how that line's red? That means I'm staying parallel to the red axis. Then I'm gonna type in 10 feet. Now I have this point 10 feet over from that back wall. And then I'm going to go back and create a rectangular wall by clicking on that end point and dragging down and over. And I want to say this interior wall will be 10 feet, comma, 6 inches, enter. So there's my interior wall. And then I can extrude that interior wall up by selecting it and drawing it up and typing in eight feet and back to my selection tool. And there's kind of how I'm going to start building my house. A couple of things I was going to go over is components and uh, primarily windows. So this on the right hand side right here is a component tool. And I have previous videos on how to turn any of your parts into components and the reasons for that. But here I'm going to use pre-existing components. So the component, let's say I want to find a chair, type chair in the window, it'll bring me to the library. Um, I like this chair right here. And then now I could just put that chair on face. So I make sure it's flat down in there. And then I'll hit escape. And then as I go back over it, I could see it's a component. I could use my other tools to move it around. Okay, the next component I want to show you just to kind of get you started on this is how to put a window in. I don't want to just click anywhere on here. I really want to click on an endpoint, you know, some, some way to do it. So I'm going to use my tape measure. And I'm going to start in my outside lower corner. See how that little box is red? Let's say I want to go over eight feet. Type in eight feet, enter. I'll click on the end of that eight foot. And then I'll go up. See how it's blue, parallel to the blue axis. I'll go up um, two feet, the big bay window. And then I'll go to a rectangle and snapping on that lower corner, I'm gonna drag the size of my window up. So let's say this is gonna be a 403 window. I type in four feet, comma, three feet. And there's gonna be my window. Go back to my selection tool. I want to delete these construction lines. I don't really want a bunch of lines all over the place. 
and I'm not being used. Whoops, escape out of that. There's a construction line there. Delete that. I delete part of the wall. Okay, so here's my window. I'm going to take that window. And I'm going to extrude it back in through the wall. All right, so I'm going to extrude it in six inches. Enter. Now there's my window cut out. So now I want to put a window in there. I'm going to type into my component window, window. I'm going to find a window that I like. So that's a nice window there. So I'm going to just select that window. And it doesn't fit in my hole, but that's going to work okay. So I'm going to click it right to the front there. And then from there, I go down here to scale. There's my scale tool. And I want to bring that right to there. Then I'll hit escape. And that's how I put a window in. So there's my window in my house. So that's just a few hints for getting started. Um, manufacturability or building the house is really important criteria, but this should be a fun project to get you started in architectural design. So thank you for watching. I'd like to hear your comments below if you have better ways of doing any of these things. I'd like to hear them as would the other viewers.